First Player Technology continues to deliver great products at an affordable price. Today I am taking a look at their new release, the Steampunk Mechanical Keyboard, featuring their own Switch, the First Player G Switch. You'll be hitting that G spot all the time. Alright, the keyboard has a good looking design, in my opinion. Thumbs up for that one first player. The keys are not caged in, making it easy to clean or to dust it off, and it also looks very nice. It's a full size mechanical keyboard, 104 keys anti-ghosting, with a full end key rollover. The keyboard includes a magnetic rest for your hand for those long hours of gaming or typing. Very easy to add it to the keyboard. Besides of how comfortable it feels, it looks nice as well. At the bottom of the keyboard there are the anti-sliding rubber pads to keep that grip on your desk or extended gaming mouse pad. The two located at the back side of the keyboard are adjustable, very nice. The housing of this keyboard is made with ABS. The PCB has a double layer of steel plate in brushed aluminum design. Very cool looking. When you buy the keyboard, a keycap remover and the instruction manual come with it. This is their first own G switch, that's what they name it. You can pause the video if you want to take a longer look at it. This right here is the instruction for the LED lighting effect. We'll take a look at them in a minute. Alrighty, let's go over the LED effects. Our main control keys are as follows. The FN key, insert, delete, home, page up, page down, and the END key, N. To make the lighting effect faster, use the FN plus or minus key. To change the direction of the effect, use the left or right keys. There are six different lighting modes. FN and delete, we have the wave effect. Fn plus or minus, it's to increase the speed. And to have a solid color again across the board, hit the Fn and delete key again. The Fn and insert key give us what I call the dancing snake effect. The Fn and home key, it's for the breathing effect. FN and page up is for the ripple effect. The FN and the END key, we have the custom mode. You can light the keys you want. And finally, we got the reactive effect, FN and page down. When you buy the keyboard, you have the options of the brown, black, and blue switches. I got the brown switch, they are responsive and much more quiet than the blue switches. Alright guys, it's time to do the sound test. I am using a condenser microphone at a good decent distance. Alright, let's hear it. Alright guys, judge for yourself. Guys, I have had this keyboard for about 3 weeks now. And the reason why I decided to take this long to make the video review and the overview of the keyboard, it's because I wanted to have a true opinion of the keyboard. Now, I, I really want to say this. Do I recommend the keyboard, yes or no? Uh, when it comes to gaming performance, when it comes to gaming performance, let's separate gaming performance and gaming experience. When it comes to gaming, gaming uh, performance, the keyboard responds very well. There's absolutely nothing 
that I can say bad about this keyboard. It's very responsive. It's just great. When it comes to gaming experience, let's let's say thumbs up for that one too. Uh, when it comes to personal choice, uh, in, in my opinion, I would have liked to see RGB. I would have liked to see white and white LEDs. But this keyboard right here, guys, is the theme is red, black. Yeah, red and black. <laughs> what, what I was going? Anyway, so. If you can live with that guys, this keyboard is just great. Now I have had it like I said for about 3 weeks now and before making this commentary opinion about the keyboard, I wanted to have a true feeling of the keyboard. And I have to say one thing, I am probably thinking of replacing my Fire Rose with this keyboard right here. Now the Fire Rose has the blue switches, you can also find it on Amazon from first player. It has the blue switches, it has a clickety click sound, I really like that, but it doesn't have the uh, the palm breast, so that's one con of that keyboard, versus the, the steampunk. This one has the risk uh, rest, and that really helps you out when you are gaming for, for quite some time, for long hours of time, let's say. So guys, thanks for watching this video, thumbs up to this keyboard, I recommend it 100%. If you like the color uh, black and red, if that's your thing, then this keyboard it's a good choice. In my opinion, like I said, I would have liked to see uh, white and white LED because that is my personal choice. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, hit the like down below, share, subscribe, I'll see you guys next time. I got more videos coming up of first player, more products and stuff like that. So yes, let me just remind you one more time, this video was sponsored by First Player. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.